What's up my people and on today's video I'll be showing you how to download PS12 Winlator on your device. So these are the apps you have to get before you can be able to play the game. The first one is Winlator. This is the emulator you're gonna use to play the game and you also need the Zachiva app and Chrome. Then lastly you will need ChatGPT because that is one of the most important ones. I'm gonna explain it later in the video okay. The device specifications for this game to play is to have at least 4 to 8 gig RAM and at least up to 18 gig storage space because you're gonna need that for the extraction and the game folder itself costs 6 gig data so you need to have at least 6 gig data so you can be able to download the zip file so let's get right into it so the first thing you're gonna do is go to your chrome and search if the um, ps12 is gonna work on your device you have to search will ps12 will later work on make sure you write the name of your device so um the ai mode will tell you if it will work or if it will not you know we need to be sure if it will actually work on your device okay as you can see it says yes it will work on my device i use the techno spark 10 pro but it's not a hundred percent guarantee that it's actually gonna work well so this is just to be sure that we're on the right path you feel me because we don't want to do any mistake or any errors so next you tap on the link i'm gonna um, add on the description and in the comments and it's gonna take you to um where the game file is so all you have to do is scroll down and tap on the um zip folder the zip folder when you tap on it it's gonna automatically download as for me i already downloaded it before that's why it's asking me if it should download so you feel me it's gonna automatically download when it finished downloading we move to the next part after downloading, look for the folder in your Zachiva in the downloads, then extract here. It's gonna actually take a while, so you need to wait patiently, okay? Patience. You feel me? One eternity later. After extracting, as you can see, the Pro Evolution Soccer folder is now here. So all you have to do is create a folder. You can name it anything you want, as long as it's not something you can easily forget. Because we're gonna be using the folder to like install the game. You feel me? Now you open the um, folder we already extracted. As you can see, this is a folder, and you extract the ISO file inside of it. You extract it inside the Winlator folder we created earlier. As you can see, we just finished extracting the file. So after extracting, what you need to do is just go back to the um, PS folder then the loader nfo you have to rename it rename it then add txt at the front because this is where the um code is the code is used to install the game then you copy it you copy it then you go and paste it inside the later game folder yeah you paste it here so it should be here because we are going to need it for the game installation process so after installing you just have to go and open the winlator app now Now go to the settings, then tap on the plus sign at the preset here, yeah, that plus. Then we make our own customized preset because the other ones usually make the game just stays on black screen. So do exactly as you see in the video.
please turn off the wine sync i forgot to turn it off because turning it on makes the game audio echoes and it doubles so please turn it off once you're done setting up the container all you have to do is press ok and it starts creating the container then after creating all you have to do is launch the container just tap on the three dots and run it Once it opens, you go to the um, D folder, which is the downloads. Then you go to the um, Winlator Games folder. You look for it, look at it down there. You open it, and then all you have to do is start the auto run dot exe just tap on it and it will start running the game for you so this is where you start installing it and everything after double clicking on the auto run you're gonna come here and tap on install After this pops up, all you have to do is just follow the prompt to tap on next. I accept the terms and uh, and next. Now this is where I told you we needed the code for. So all you have to do is open the um, reloaded txt. Open it. After you double click it to open, all you have to do next is just to scroll down. Use the mouse to scroll down and look for the code so this is where the code is this is the um code will be inputting the one at the below the one below so you can actually copy it you can copy it and paste it But if you find it hard to do, you can also use your keyboard. All you have to do is just tap back on the navigation button and you see the keyboard. And then you use it to actually type in the codes. After you're done, just tap on next. It's gonna ask you another option. You just tap on next and next install. And we started installing. All you have to do is wait patiently. It's literally gonna take much time. After installing, all you have to do next is to tap finish. Now you're done with installing, but there's still something else you have to do. Exit. So next thing next, you look for the um crack, where the crack folder is, yeah. 
then you copy the files the two files below the ps and the dl yeah you copy those two then you go to where the program files is in the relator um folder then you open the konami open the ps2012 then you paste what you copied here just up on paste and it will ask you to replace say yes next up you open the set of the exe yeah double tap on it it's gonna take just a few seconds then it's gonna open once it opens just do exactly as i'm doing right now just put it on window mode set the revolution to the same one i'm setting you can actually change it but this is the one i use put the picture quality on low disable it for vsync and now we're gonna go um set the, the um, control i mean to say the controller so you go to the controller what you have to do is put it on x input just put it on x input and we're good then you create a shortcut with our ps2012 exe because that's how you're going to be playing it if you don't know how to control this here you're literally going to be missing because you should not to be able to control a mouse that's the same way you can do this after creating a shortcut all you have to do next is just exit all right tap the back on your navigation button and just exit Now all you have to do is look for the shortcuts. Look for the shortcuts and you see the game you created a shortcut of. All you have to do is just tap on it and you start up. button input controls and put it on virtual gamepad this way the gamepad is going to show so now the game will actually start playing here we go The reason why it's actually sounding like this is because I didn't turn off the um the we sync the W sync at all or to um turn off at the um video when I was talking. So if you turn it off, it won't be sounding like this. It will be different.
I'm John Champion, and today's co-commentator is Jim Beglin. Yeah, thanks, John. Well, we have great expectation here today for both sets of players. I mean, this match really promises something good. Set. So that's how to install the game. So like I said before, the setup may be different for each device. So if you don't actually like if you did everything and it's still not working, all you have to do is just go tell Chat GPT, tell him you tried everything and it's actually not working. Explain everything to him, tell him the phone you're using, he might be able to like adjust some settings for you that's why i said you actually need chat gpt but that's all for the video so like share and subscribe for more i'm literally tired bro like i'm re le <laughs> i'm recording in the middle of the night bro i, I haven't slept for days just because most of you have been asking for tutorials so i'm literally doing this for y'all i appreciate your love and everything but yeah i'm finally getting my peace of mind yeah.